Welcome to this video on the Parent Portal and Canvas at Callaghan College. I'll be demonstrating uh, how to access through Walls End. However, the same is for Jasmine and Waratah. When you click on to the video, you'll see there's three buttons down here, rather large. Uh, the, on, on Walls End, it says Canvas, Bring Your Own Device and Parent Portal. You'll note here it says Canvas. Even though you're going to register for a Canvas account, please do not use this. This is for staff and students only. You actually go through the parent portal to gain access. It's a different way of getting on. We use Microsoft authentication through the Department of Education, which of course parents don't have access to. Alright, I'm going to click on the parent portal here, and we will get an instruction page. So please read the following instructions carefully. You'll note here that <coughs> student cues will be issued by email within 24 hours during the school term. And please don't ring the office if you have any issues to drop an email to this email address here. Uh, the instructions go through here and tell you exactly what to do, but I'm going to demonstrate this in the video to make it as easy as possible for you. So the first thing we need to do is we need to register for the parent portal. So in here, you put in a valid email address. So I'm going to type in an email address here that I have separate to my department one. And off we go. I'll put a title in here. I'm going to put a password in. You'll see it says it must be at least eight characters. And off we go. You put the same one in again. Put your first name and then put your second name. And then you go create account. Now I'm actually not going to press that button because I've already created this, this account to do this demonstration. I'm just going to flick back here. So once you've done that, you'll get a an, an email to say that you've you've done that and you'll be able to log on. If you don't get an email, you can just log on with the username and password that you got. Alright, so I'm going to flick back here to Parent Portal. So, you've now received and logged on to your to the Parent Portal. At this point, the front office will get a request uh, for you to have an account and they will verify your identity and they, then they will send you an access code. So at this point, you need to log on. So you log on to the parent portal. I'm just going to log out there. Sorry, it's going on automatically here. I'm going to log on with this other account that I've got. And on we go. And we sign in. Now, you'll see here. It says student family access key. At that point, you will be would have been sent within 24 hours a student access key. You put the key in, and then you press add key. Once you do that, it will come up, and the, your student's picture will appear here. All right. Now, <clears throat> first thing we need to look at here is messages. If I click on messages here. I can go here and I can go to messages if you have any unread messages here. I can go new message here. I can put a subject down. I'm just going to call it test. I'm going to select a teacher. So here I'm going to put my own name as the teacher and the student that I'm doing it on. And then enter my message here. Click send message. The teacher will then get the message on them and they should email you back. All right, let's go back to dashboard. I'm going to click down here. Let's have a look and see what you can do. So every day we have office messages that go goes out, uh, the daily messages, and uh, staff read them out to the students at the beginning of uh, period. One. So you have access to that as well, so you can see. So this is for the actually for the day after. Um, we have down here 
the current timetable for the student. Click down here. We have my timetable. Now we don't print timetables off any longer because the uh, timetables are done here electronically for the students. So there's really no need to spend money and, and waste paper on printing them out. Students' timetables are live here. Uh, we can click down here for resources and you can see here we've got applications which we can click on Office 365, the Canvas one we'll be doing in a moment. There's the school bag calendar you can click on you go through and see what, what's happening. Uh, activities so any activities that students are doing will be listed here. You can go back to previous years as well. In attendance you can see here exactly what they're doing each day so you can have a look and see what the attendance was just by moving your mouse over the day. I can have a look here at class attendance so here we go, here's all class attendance, what percentage of attendance they have for their classes. You can have a look at unexplain absences here. Explain absences and then exempted absences. Their school business. When we click down here on wellbeing, You'll see here that you've got uh, access to positives and to awards. You can click on them. and see what see what's happening. Um, we click down here on plans. Plans now. This says no plans. This one, but if there were plans there, they would come up. So we're talking about plans that happen there for students that require them. Uh, normally parents would have a meeting with the school and a plan of some sort would be put up, you have access to it there. Likewise with the reports, we don't print reports. Uh, we will print reports on demand but we don't generally print reports. So if you click on published reports here, you can see here we can go back to 2014 for this particular student. So I can click on it and report will open up. I can go down here to school records, I can go down here to NAPLAN results and have a look. You'll see year 5 and year 7 there. Uh, continuum tracking and if they've got any reading records. The final thing you want to see up here is that you've got unexplained absences so you can actually click here and you can go and click on them and you can explain the absence. The reason they're grey is because they have to be done in a certain amount of time. Uh, off memory it's about two weeks but um, you, yeah, you have to get them done fairly quickly and that's a department rule that's not something that we can change. Alright, let's go back to the start here. I'm going to go down to Applications and you'll see here it says Parent, Canvas Parent Access. This is where you need to go. You can access it by clicking here or I can go back to my student here and you'll see it's, it's rather long there. I know it's, a, it's, it's going over the other one but we want to put there important information. Please uh, click forgot password at first log on. Now this is very important because what happens is once you've got a parent account and you've attached your student um, this syncing will happen between Central and Canvas on a daily basis. It actually happens at 3am every day and the username is synced to Canvas but the passwords it's not, it's not possible to actually do that so we have to wait for, for a day for that to sync up. Alright, now you'll see it says login to Canvas. Now the first time that you want to go here you'll see it's got login, it's got password. So the first time you need to click on forgot password 
type in your email address the same one that you used for the parent portal and you click on request password you will then get an email which you need to uh, to act on come back here and then log on I'm just going to log out there go back in here so let's pretend I've got the email I know what my password is I click on here and then I go into here now it's very important that you do not click log on with Microsoft as I said this is for staff and students so we're going to log on here and we're going to go on to canvas here we go login now the first time you come on to it it says updated terms of use you can have a read if you like I agree when you come on to the canvas dashboard the first thing you'll see is that they've got different colors down here so when you go onto the walls in one it's maroon jasmine is black and uh, waratah is navy blue that way we know which particular campus that we're on you'll see here don't forget to add your mobile phone number to your profile that's great that's a message bang off we go we can delete the message notifications please tell us how and when you'd like to notify events in canvas all right this is very important click on notification preferences here and when you do you'll see there that it has different ways that you can be no notified of things so if you want to be um, notified of course due dates then you would you would click on them yes or click them off all right uh, grading policies announcements anything that you want to be notified about you can click them you'll see it says send daily summary so I can click on send daily summary here and that means that if due dates will you'll, you'll get them once a day not right away um, send weekly summary that's this one here or do not send anything so you can change them as, as you see fit if you find that you're getting annoyed by them then you can change them whenever you like when we go to profile here right you see you can add a, a picture there this one's actually come up um, from Gravatar so if you're using Gravatar it's it's pulled a little kiss cat there that I, that I use um, you can change your name if you like and really wouldn't don't please don't do that um, you get into files uh, these are files for uh, the courses that uh, your student is registered and you'll see there Japanese and IST I'll just go back there uh, ePortfolios you can create an ePortfolio as an observer but you really wouldn't want to do that and my badge is observing you'll see it's got observing down here and then you can you can um, go and add somebody if you want but you don't need to because you can see here students being observed and Emma Somerville I've put Emma there as a um, as a, a temporary student in there so there we go alright so email addresses there the students actually have the option of adding their their mobile number in the settings yeah and actually so do you there you go contact method so you can actually add your cell number in there so I can go and put in my mobile phone number blah 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 alright you don't have to do that and then register the SMS okay alright let's go back up to the start so when we click up here these are now the courses that you have access to you can go and click on view grades obviously I put Emma in here as a as a temporary student so she has no marks here but if I was to, to click down there what it would show is it should show the scores so I've put her into one of my courses that I have it would show her the scores of each one so you can see score what it's out of I can click in here and actually have a look and see what she's what she actually did and obviously she's done nothing there 
if I go back to the start, that's the Callahan logo is actually the home button. Click down here. If I go back to view grades, if I want to, I can have, have a look at a Japanese if I like. You can see here I can click from uh, course to course just by going there very quickly. And then I can go in here and click and actually see and see what she's doing. Off we go. So of course there's no submissions there, but it, as your students will be working through information, they would be uh, going through there. I can click on here. This button here, if I click on it, it'll have recent activity. So as things are being done on here, they'll be listed there. There we go. I can click on the actual course there. So this is the course for IST uh, for year 10. And I can go down there and I can have a look and see the quizzes say. There you go. I can see there what's what's been happening. Obviously, as I said, it doesn't show much because Emma hasn't actually done anything in this course. But you get, you get the general idea. So it's a case of looking in each one of the courses. Going back to the start. Go to Japanese. There should be about six or seven courses down here. I can click on calendar here. It'll show me what's happening in each one of the courses. Alright, there'll be um, information there. If I go, if I go back to this one, you'll see more of a calendar. There we go. Calendar. You can see here, as things are happening, I can see when things are due. So if you're remembering, all teachers are getting this done at the moment. I can click from one calendar to another by going onto here. Click. There you can see some writing exercises here for that class. If I click off, then I'll, I'll get that. Back to home. And off I go. So that's basically it. When I go down here, I can go to modules. I can go to the syllabus documents here. And that will show things as they happen. There's the assessment schedule for Japanese. Go back home. So I can click on here to go back to all the courses. I can click up here to go. All the courses should look like this. Links. So if there's any links in there, you can see there Mrs. Lambert's put some stuff up. So off we go. Alright. Thank you for that. This is... Um, this is the end of the video. Um, please contact the school if you can't, or if you have any 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 trouble whatsoever. Uh, we're more than happy to help you. The whole idea of Canvas is to keep you into the loop, so that you know exactly what's happening. Thanks very much.